I'm standing here today to talk about the latest economic policies and reforms being implemented by the President of the Republic of Uzbekistan, Shavkat Mirziyev. And I would like to invite all potential investors with profitable business projects and investment opportunities to invest in Uzbekistan and take advantage of the pro-business and improved investment climate, which is completely supported by the flexible Uzbek government legislation. I'm going to talk about the latest economic policy aimed at alleviating and eradicating poverty in Uzbekistan by 2026. Over the past years, about 300 laws and more than 4,000 resolutions of the President of the Republic of Uzbekistan, which are aimed at fundamental reforming of all spheres of life of the state and society, have been adopted. Along with this, systematic work was carried out to ensure human rights, strengthen the accountability of the state bodies, and increase the role of civil society and institutions and the media political activity of the population and public associations. In the direction of reforming the national economy, effective measures have been taken to liberalize foreign trade, tax, financial policies, support entrepreneurship, and guarantee the inviolability of private property, organize deep processing of agricultural pro uh, products, and ensure the accelerated development of regions, strengthening the social protection of citizens, and reducing poverty are identified as, as priority areas of state and the provision of the population with new jobs and guaranteed source of income. Qualified medical and educational services and decent living conditions have been raised to a qualitatively new level. As a result of reforms over the past five years, the country has created political, legal, socio-economic, scientific and educational foundations necessary for building new Uzbekistan. In order to determine priority areas for reforms aimed at further improving the welfare of the state, transforming sectors of the economy, accelerated development of entrepreneurship, unconditional provision of human rights and interests, the formation of an active civil society in subsequent years, the decree number 60 of the President of the Republic of Uzbekistan on the development strategy of the new Uzbekistan for 2022 and 2026 was adopted. Creating new jobs in the country, increasing the income of the population, and through this reducing poverty by at least twice by the end of 2026 have been set as one of the main goals of the development strategy of new Uzbekistan for 2022 and 2026. In order to achieve this goal, the following actions have been taken. A new institution with a new position of assistant hakims of districts, cities, with a view to developing entrepreneurship, ensuring employment of the population and reducing poverty was introduced in each and every single mahallas, the lowest layers of the society and government structure in Uzbekistan. Leaders of all levels, from the administration of the president, cabinet of ministers, ministries, departments, and hokimiats are obligated to visit each and every single mahallas in order to learn and take strict measures to solve problems becoming obstacles to entrepreneurship. Huge government investment in fixing problems in infrastructure has been made. A large number of business, new business projects in the field of manufacturing and services industry have been inventoried. Organization of Investor Assistance Center, Business Assistance Center, Advanced Projects and Engineering Center, Innovation and Technology Centers in each district to provide practical assistance to entrepreneurs and potential investors have been created. In addition to this, the President of the Republic of Uzbekistan at a recent international conference held in Tashkent has firmly asserted that the rights and interests of each and every single investor in Uzbekistan are under the protection of the Republic of Uzbekistan. In addition to this, the investment climate in the country will, will be further improved taking measures to attract investment in the amount of 120 billion US dollars in the next five years, and including 17 billion dollars of foreign investment. 
foreign investment on the basis of public-private partnership in the amount of 14 billion US dollars in the energy, transport, healthcare, education, ecology, utilities and water management have been and will be attracted. In conclusion, I would like to invite all potential investors to come to Uzbekistan and take advantage of pro-business and improved investment climate which is created by the President of the Republic of Uzbekistan. Thank you so much.